Hello, I'm Stephen Harrison, forecaster with the National Weather Service in San Diego. And in this video weather briefing update, I'm going to give you an update on the Santana wind conditions. And also, we're going to take a look at next week to see if there's any potential for rain in Southern California. First, let's take a look at the surface pressure pattern uh, as depicted by the American model. We still have a persistent high pressure over the Great Basin. Uh, that'll change Saturday when we briefly get onshore flow, but then once again, high pressure comes back into the Great Basin area Saturday night into Sunday, bringing another moderate offshore or Santa Ana wind event. In this image, the yellow and orange and red colors indicate higher pressure, while the green colors indicate low pressure. And you can see the direction of those winds as that high pressure builds into the Nevada, Utah, and Idaho region. This is a high-res model depiction of the surface winds for Sunday. So the Santa Ana winds are going to strengthen Saturday night into Sunday, and you can see how those winds are screaming through the San Bernardino Mountains, coastal slopes, foothills, going into the Santa Ana Mountains, and all the way into the Orange County coast. We also might get some decent winds in the Riverside Mountains and the Coachella Valley as well. You can see the strong winds kind of uh, avoid San Diego County uh, because this is more of a northerly and northeasterly oriented wind event. We can see northeast winds of 20 to 30 miles per hour gusting to 55 and isolated gusts to 70 on the remote coastal slopes and wind prone canyons and passes. Humidity will be a concern again as it drops down to about 10 to 15 percent on Sunday. And as I mentioned, the strongest winds and lowest humidity should be north of San Diego County. Now, are there any rain chances upcoming? Well, this is the American model upper level weather pattern. And unfortunately, it still looks like all the storms miss Southern California. They're rotating around the persistent ridge that's been along the West Coast. And they're just a little too far to the north and east of Southern California. And this is what's also helping to bring those stronger Santa Ana winds. And we might see a strong Santa Ana wind event this Thursday. So here's a look at some of the potential impacts from the Santa Ana winds that we're going to get on Saturday night, Sunday. Uh, difficult driving for high profile vehicles through some of those passes and coastal foothill locations. Uh, interstates such as Interstate 10, 8, um, 15, 215. We we'll also have critical fire weather conditions once again due to the, extreme, the extremely low humidity and strong winds. And we still have very, very dry fuels because we haven't gotten any significant rain so far. Looking at the uh, weather threats in the next coming days, you can see that um, on Sunday, once again, our, we had the winds and fire weather threats, moderate impacts. We'll get a break Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday when the offshore winds are weaker. But then, like I mentioned before, there is the potential for another strong Santa Ana wind event and fire weather concerns on Thursday. There are also some elevated northwesterly swells, which are bringing high, um, higher than normal surf and strong rip currents to the beaches today through Sunday. That's it for this video weather briefing. Please go to weather.gov slash San Diego to keep up with the latest forecasts and warnings. Thanks for watching.